come to a restaurant in Krabby Town, which is called Krua Medium. We came past here a few weeks ago and Orn said they had crocodile on the menu. So I haven't had crocodile for a long time and I've never had it in Thailand. The one time I had it, it was in Australia and it had been, I think, overcooked and was pretty dry. It tasted okay, but it wasn't the tenderest. So I thought I'll see how the Thais do it. Orn's grandfather's in town, so we brought him out for a late lunch. And he was also very keen on trying the crocodile. I don't think he's ever had it before. I'm gonna nab a bit of his crocodile. He ordered this one, which is a crocodile fried with garlic and pepper. It looks really yummy. It's very light. It also came with a couple of dipping sauces. I'm just going to try it without the dipping sauce. My crocodile dish has just arrived. Yeah, that's really nice. It's not really fleshy like fish or something. It's more like uh, almost like chicken skin, the consistency of it. It's very light, very garlicky. Really delicious. I'll have a go with mine. I got Pad Pad Jaramet, which is crocodile cooked with Thai curry herbs. It looks really tasty. Got a bit of Thai pepper there on my spoon with that one. I do love those Thai peppers. Again, the crocodile is not really flaky like fish. It's just a little bit chewy, but it's, it's really light. Tastes pretty good. As well as the crocodile on said that they had deer on the menu. Again, I've never had deer in Thailand, so I thought I'd better try this. So by the look, it's got some lemongrass, quite a bit of chili in there, and a whole heap of other herbs and spices. Looks really tasty. It's a bit chewy, but very, very tasty. You wouldn't really know it was deer. There's lemongrass and galangal, heaps of chili, kaffir lime leaves by the look. If someone didn't tell you you were eating deer, you wouldn't really know it was deer. We also got a fried rice with pork for Ananda. He's been enjoying that. And Orn got one of her favourites, Capral Blamuk, which is squid with basil, chili and garlic. So I'll try Ananda's fried rice. Looks pretty good. It's got some big bits of pork in there. Really tasty. He's been loving it. Really, you can't go wrong with Thai fried rice. And then on squid capral, which is squid with basil and garlic and chili. Grab some of the sauce, a bit of squid and some rice, and basil. And yeah, this one never fails to please. A little salty, a little bit sweet, very tasty. Okay, so we mark. So for drinks, I got a Thai iced tea, a milky iced tea, cha yen. Mm. It's sweet, milky, and, and it's got a very subtle flavour of tea. It's really good and very cold. One got a cha dam yen, which is a black iced tea. The, the tea flavour in this one's a lot stronger. She really likes these. I do quite like them, but I like to change between the cha yen and cha dam yen. It's quite sweet and it's on ice and really cold, very refreshing. The food here is all really, really good. I think overall my favourite is Grandpa's uh, crocodile with garlic and pepper. It's also got some crispy fried basil leaves in there or something. And Nanda's been enjoying this one as well. Under. Fish, fish. It's not real tender like fish. It's a bit chewier. Um, you definitely tell that it's not fish, and it's it's got a different texture to chicken as well. The flavour of it's pretty subtle, but yeah, it does taste very nice. I haven't actually tried the sauces yet. It's like grandpa's sauce. By the look, it's fish sauce. It's got some ginger in there and some chili. 
bit quite tasty. Bed. <laughs> Grandpa's found something that's a bit spicy. I think it was probably uh, my crocodile. He's been digging into that one. Definitely much better than the barbecue crocodile I had in Australia. I'm enjoying this. It is much moister. It's not real tender, but, but the texture is quite nice. The deer likewise got a great blend of flavours in there. It's quite a bit of really finely sliced lemongrass and quite a bit of chilli. It is quite spicy but it's got a, a real strong lemongrass flavour. We also got a plate of vegetables which came complimentary. There's some cucumber, some Thai herbs and some long beans in there. Eating them in between gives you a bit of a break from the spiciness and you will find lots of restaurants in Thailand provide them. This restaurant's just down the road from Krabby Hospital. The hospital's just up there, a couple of hundred metres. It's really easy to find. I've never actually seen a full, but I have seen quite a few Thai people coming in here to eat. I think it's a fairly specialty menu that they have. Here's a look at the menu. There's lots of choices there and quite a few Thai standards. Town, you're looking for something different, I can definitely recommend this place, Grua Dim. I'll put the Google Maps coordinates in the description below the video. If you've enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up and check out my channel for lots more Thailand food and travel videos. I post new videos every Wednesday. Thanks heaps for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.